Brian, we broke off some bolts. Sure did. So in the process of fixing this, we have to bring this guy to his garage. And how are we gonna do that? With this guy. So bolt extraction, while being most people's favorite thing to do, is, is actually quite difficult. And there's a lot of tools on the market for, you know, pulling bolts out of stuck in places where the heads have knocked off. And well, I have a different method that, you know, a few people may not have heard of, and that includes a little tool called Unichrome. And this is a special kind of welding rod that you'll have to use in conjunction with a, a stick welder. So let's just have a look at how this is done. So we have a busted off bolt that holds on the windshield wiper mechanism here on this Datsun 240Z. And well, we need to get that out of there because we need to be able to fasten the thing down because when the mechanism tries to go, it's gonna be forcing against that fastener. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bust out the stick welder and see if we can't get this guy out of here. So the, the purpose of using this unichrome rod is it's not like it's some alloy that you're going to be buying sheets in. It's, it's not like welding unichrome together. This is, this is actually a special alloy that's made for sticking to dissimilar metals, but it's also got a really high tensile strength. So when you weld a pool to a bolt that's broken off, you can actually uh, build a weld pool slowly and then weld another fastener to that in order to extract it. Now, another benefit to this is that you're, you're introducing a hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold situation for the fastener that's stuck in there and you're actually going to break a lot of the corrosion that's in the threads currently. So, Let's just get right to it. Now this is a slow process. You're, you're laying basically one bead at a time and then building each weld off of each weld until you get it up and out of the place that you want. What's really cool about this technique is, is that even if you're down inside of a hole, the flux on the welding rod will actually protect you from arcing out on the threads. So you can actually weld a bolt that's deep inside of a hole, build the weld out until it's out, and then you can actually weld the bolt to that in order to turn it out. So let's see how well it works here. So 
So the next step is to take a regular fastener, whatever you can get your hands on, and weld it directly to the welds that you put on the piece. Now it's the waiting game. So what happens is as, as you're welding the bolt, you're heating it up and like in expansion happens with any, any metal that you heat up, but it doesn't really have anywhere to go this way. So what happens is it expands this way and then when it contracts, it contracts in all directions. So it'll actually contract this way as well as this way. It's kind of a little cheat on how to shrink the fastener that's in there and hopefully get it extracted in the end, right? Time to cool down. Okay, so this is the first attempt. It doesn't always work the first time, but let's give it a go. Now, when you break it free, you don't wanna like just force it because it may bind up and break the weld. So give it, give it a bit, give it a bit, and then work it back in. This is, this is actually looking promising, this one. We're spinning. We're spinning. We're free. And that's what we end up with. So we have the old fastener welded to the new fastener that, well, you're never going to use that again. Yeah, it definitely did the trick. I mean, there's all kinds of methods for removing bolts, extracting bolts. I found that this is this is the one that works for me the most. And I guess, yeah, maybe it comes with uh, the welding skills that I've learned over the years, but it's definitely my go-to when extracting bolts. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys like what you see, Hit that subscribe button. If you're feeling generous, hit that like button. And if you want to be part of the conversation, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.